What's up, everybody? Brant Phillips with Real Estate Fundamentals talking about how is the election going to affect real estate investors? We're watching the news. We're, we're seeing about recounts. We're seeing about voter fraud, Biden, Trump, red state, blue state, Republican, Democrat, rah, 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 all of this chaos, right? So how is this going to affect us as real estate investors look in every election there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser right that's a political battle my friend this election does not have to affect you in one way shape or form right so the answer to the question of how this election will affect real estate investors is, is really a micro question it depends on you. It depends on what is your business model. It depends on what actions are you going to take as a result of not only just this election, but of the opportunities that are in the market, right? So, you know, for those of you who know me, have been following me for any period of time, know that I teach and preach, I live and I lead creating a sustainable business model. If you have built or you are building a sustainable business model, it really doesn't matter who wins the election. Now, is it is it easier with certain people in office rather than other people? You, you bet. Yeah, absolutely. You bet it is. But there's opportunities in any market. I've been through real estate cycles through Democratic presidents and with Republican presidents, right? So nobody is sending, uh, you know, like gift baskets and bags of money and deals to your mailbox. No matter who is in office, you're still going to have to still go out there and work your butt off and build systems and build teams and build and add value to your marketplace, right? You're still going to have to be able to generate deal flow. You're still going to have to be able to be able to analyze deals, to navigate risk, to make decisions, to invest time, energy, effort on certain opportunities and say no to certain other opportunities. And you're going to have to be, you know, the captain of your own ship. But I'll tell you what, no matter who wins or who loses, I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing, that there is a problem in our country, no matter who's running the country, and that, and that problem is affordable housing. We have got a major crisis and a major shortage of affordable housing. So one of the things that I want to uh, share with you guys and, and really leave with you as we start wrapping this one up, this is a pretty short show today, but just to, to be thinking about that, like what do we do? as real estate entrepreneurs we the the great entrepreneurs solve the greatest problems and we have a huge ginormous problem in in the world today in in our country and that's it's a supply of affordable housing and so therein lies the opportunity for us as real estate investors right to go out and find out ways put together deals in our in our individual marketplaces or in other marketplaces. I just got back two days ago from Illinois. We're under contract on a mobile home park in Illinois. You guys know that I love mobile home parks. I love affordable housing, right? So as we go into some un a time of uncertainty with what's looking like a new president, you know, first thing is like, just turn off the news. Turn off your CNN, turn off your MSNBC, your, your Fox News, all that trash. Just turn it off. You don't need to be watching the news and just getting involved in the freaking drama. It's, it's like it's worse than days of our lives. It's worse than a soap opera. So turn that stuff off. Get focused on your results not the election results get focused on your results start building start building a sustainable business build a business focused on what solving problems affordable housing creating deals deal structure where you have multiple exit strategies where you can you can take a short term like cash injection on a flip you may want to buy and hold as a rental property you may want to have an owner finance opportunity and things like that be willing to change as you see new opportunities come into the marketplace and close doors on old ones. When certain things are no longer an opportunity, you need to be willing to see that and you need to be able to see that ahead of time. Like you need to see the market shifts because everything is cyclical. What's working in today's market 
may not be working in tomorrow's market. Like everything is cyclical. So stop worrying about the election results. Focus on your own own results. You know, my focus here is built on building a business on solid fundamentals, thus the real estate fundamental show at Brand Phillips, but really with a focus on affordable housing, looking for low risk, high reward deals, you know, mobile homes, you know, or something I love, but we, we're still taking down some residential deals obviously like that's that's our core business but we're doing more and more mobile home parks and mobile home investing but we've also done some commercial deals when they make sense look for scalable ventures that you can minimize risk of course you want to limit your tax burden and be aware of changes in the tax code and things like of that sort of thing but enjoy life my friends like it's okay to still have fun it's okay to go out and make money like turn off the doom and gloom like regardless of who wins the election regardless of the recounts trump biden blah 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 my friends real estate investors who solve problems they go out and seize opportunities are always going to win so i encourage you to be a winner in this upcoming election 